to the cloud. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much to everybody for being here and taking the time out of your night. I hope you guys get a lot of value out of this call. So I'm going to go ahead and pass it over to Millie so she could introduce herself and take it away because she's a queen. Like, Hello, can you guys hear me? Tell me if you can hear me. Yes. Okay. Um, I want to give like a quick little intro of like who I am because I don't know a lot of people on this call. So I just want to, you know, say who I am. Um, I, my name is Mile. I just graduated from college. Okay. This is what I am doing full time. Um, I don't know if you guys know Joe Edigoyen. I'm directly under her. So that's, you know, that's who I am. Um, I just graduated from a degree with uh, social media marketing advertising and I got a minor in psychology because of like purchase behavior. So this goes hand in hand with like Monate. So I, I literally love it. But I like training calls where I can take away things from it. Okay. Um, of course, it's good to have those calls where it's like, be yourself. Like, of course, be yourself, right? Like, of course, like, don't screenshot people's content or whatever. Like, of course, right? But I like those training calls where it tells me, like, step here are all the steps. Take what you want and do what you want with it. So that's the type of training call that I'm going to give today. So if you have paper, pen, or you're typing it on your computer or whatever, be prepared because I'm going to give you all the steps to my little secret sauce on how I am always improving my PV. Okay. So first step, this is one of those steps where it's kind of like, yeah, like you're going to want to, um, of course, be passionate but I want the first one to be passion, okay? What it means is, you know that, that phrase that says like, uh, be, do it with passion or don't do it at all, okay? People can tell, okay, when you are not passionate about it. I am not passionate about shampoo. I am passionate about the confidence and the results that it's given me in my hair and in my skin. And I'm passionate about the results that it's giving the people that I am introducing the products to. Okay, that's what I'm passionate about. So people can tell if you're passionate or if you're just trying to sell them something, if you're just showing up when there's a sale, people can tell, I promise. People read vibes, energy, whatever, because it's true, okay? If you are not passionate about what these products can do, if you're not even excited about it, people can tell. And nobody wants to buy from someone who's not passionate. Okay. It's not that you're passionate about the product and the ingredients or whatever. You're passionate about what it offers, what it does. Okay. Point number two, stories on Instagram. Okay. If you talk on your story, max four slides of you talking max. Okay. If you're going to be talking on your story, then you better have the darndest, most exciting thing that you're about to share in your story to spend four slides talking about because people's attention spans are so short nowadays, okay? Super short. You know what that means? Is that they're not gonna sit through your stories and watch eight slides of you talking about one product or a flash sale or whatever. You have to keep it at four, okay? That's one whole minute of you talking about something. And this is something that I see people do that I think it's a habit you need to start doing. When you're going to uh, talk in those four stories, you're going to put text and you're gonna add like a little caption of giving like an idea of what you're talking about, okay? You don't have to type out every word. You don't have to use the captions feature on Instagram if you don't want to. I sometimes use it, but I usually just type up a little like caption of like what I'm talking about, okay? Why? Because I watch stories when I'm in the car, when I'm at the store, when I'm with my friends, when I'm out, whatever, at dinner. I don't always have the volume up, but I'm watching people's stories. And if they're talking, I will get the information by reading what they put in the caption. If you didn't put anything, I'm going to be completely transparent. I just tap through, okay? Because I can't listen right now and I'm not going to turn up the volume if I'm out with my friends or whatever. So I'm just going to like keep going, okay? You don't want that to happen. If I'm going to talk about the flash sale, then I'm going to talk about the flash sale and people will get my information by listening to me. But if they're not listening, then they're going to read, oh, we have $12 products. That's going to get them to either turn up the volume or to come back or ask a question or watch or whatever. 
but you want to put that caption. You want to include that because not everybody has their volume up. So you always want to. Now, I saw someone say that that's tough to use four stories. The reason why you want to keep it at four is because you can use other, like maybe two more, three more, whatever, to add like an image or a video or like a reel that you want to put of a before and after, like repost type of thing. You don't want to keep talking and talking and talking and talking for eight stories or more and then put more information and then a picture and then your flyer and then someone's before and after and then like a slide that says like DM me for more info or drop your number here on the question box. Like that's way too much. That does not keep people's attention. When you keep it at four, you'd say the main thing we have $12 products or whatever. If DM me if you want information or like whatever, but you want to stick to the point. And then details is where you tell people when they reach out to you or when you reach out to them, when they slide up on your story or when they answer vote on your poll or whatever, that's when you go into details. You don't tell the whole entire story. It's, I mean, of course, if you're going to say minimum $60 purchase, so you can add two products for $25. Okay, of course. But if you're going to put a list of like what's two for 25 or whatever, you don't, you're going to have to end up explaining every single product on there because people don't know what the Renew Shampoo does or what the Replenish Mask is or what the 30 Second Miracle is. Okay. So that's the whole point of the four stories talking. If you're going to be talking four stories max, okay, it's easy to word vomit, but you've got to get into the habit of getting to the point. Don't start your stories with, hey guys, happy Friday. Weather is so nice today. So excited to share with you guys about the flash sale that we have today because that already took up 10 seconds of your first slide. Okay. Nobody cares about the, Hey guys, this is not a YouTube video. This is your stories. This is you telling them we have a flash sale and there's products for $12. All you have to do is blah, 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 whatever. Okay. Get to the point because you want to keep people's interest from the very, very beginning because people's attention spans are super, super short. Okay. I've seen people where they take up like eight slides showing like a post shower routine or like their full skincare routine. Now, let me tell you how to make that okay. Because of course, you're not going to make your whole skincare routine in one minute. Okay. I take like 12 minutes. Okay. I like to take my time and everything, but I'm not going to take a 12 minute tutorial, like showing people like how I do my skincare. Okay. Listen, if you're going to show people like what you put in your hair after you shower, what I do is I'm gonna have the products already unscrewed, like the bottle, the top, okay? Right there in front of me for me to grab, pump, and put in my hair. Because if you're gonna be showing them, hey guys, this is what I put in after my shower. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab the detangler, take off the top, spray in my hair, put it back down, talk about it more. And then I go in with the Rejuva beads, pick up the Rejuva beads, take off the top, put it down, and then pump the Rejuva beads, put down the Rejuva beads, rub my hands, and then put in the split and cream. That already took up like 20 seconds, okay? And then you're gonna pick up the bottle of the blowout cream, and then you're gonna pick up the bottle of no se que, whatever. And then you're taking up so much time. Have it ready to go, okay? Yes, you either make a reel or you go live, but the whole point, even in live, even in a reel, have it ready because people you people know how to open a bottle how to unscrew a top so you don't need to spend 20 seconds of your tutorial having to show like me opening me pumping and that's something that i personally notice in my own stuff that i know that i need to work on and so that's why i'm sharing it here because you know well, why don't we all just get better at it right so if you want to show like routines like that have things ready ahead of time so that it's that the whole point of it is you showing what it looks like on your skin or your hair what it does instead of them seeing like how to fit how to open a bottle how to pick it up and put it down and twist and untwist and everything point number three this one's my favorite okay this is how i close the sale this is how you get the vip okay point number three is called problem solving okay Everything you add to a shopping cart is solving a problem. I've heard this so many times, but until I practiced how to sound like I'm someone solving a problem, that's when I got better at it. That's how I got more closings on VIPs, okay? First of all, if little Susie comes along and she says that she has greasy hair, 
I'm going to tell her, okay, let's say I put the black shampoo. Okay. I put in the black shampoo into your cart to help your greasy hair. I'm going to use the exact same words that she told me. Why? Because that makes me tell her that I listen to her problem and I'm putting in the shopping cart, the solution. Okay. I'm, I know that our beauty quizzes and stuff like that, it says um, like dry flaky scalp or oily scalp. If she told me greasy, I'm going to use the word greasy. If she said dandruff instead of flaky scalp, I'm going to use dandruff. So I'm going to say, okay, I put in the black shampoo for your greasy hair. And since you told me you straighten your hair all the time, I'm going to put in the heat protectant because that's probably why your hair, your ends are so dry. So, and then I'm also going to put in the super nourished conditioner. And since I use the super nourished conditioner, I will tell them I, it's kind of like, a this is like a psychology thing, but when you reassure them, Hey, this is what I use. You should use it too. That makes them feel like, okay, yeah, like I'll get it. No doubt. They don't even, even think about it. Okay. Because of course you're introducing them to something new, but when you tell them, and this is the one that I use, uh, or you, I, when I offer the blowout cream, I'll say like, okay, and this is the blowout cream that I use when I dry my hair. I never say like, okay, here's a blowout cream. Like tell them, like reassure them. Like, this is what I use for my hair too. It gives like that reassurance. Okay. Then I'm going to tell her all the shopping cart, all the product or whatever are in the cart. I never, ever, ever, ever tell someone, okay, in order to purchase today, you're going to have to meet an $84 minimum. No. If you say that, if you bring that up, stop. Okay. Nobody wants to hear you telling them what they have to do. You are solving a problem. You are not here to tell them what to do. People are ready to drop $100, $200 on hair products. I promise. Okay. When they look at it as a need, when they look at it as a solution, but when you're going to tell them you need to spend $84 today, they're going to be like, why is it so expensive? Why $84? Why this? Why that? Like, why? Like, is it really that good? We don't have time for that. We need to keep things moving. We need to get these VIPs. Okay. So I'm going to put everything in the cart and then I'm going to break down the shopping cart for them. I always use voice messages. Okay. If you're not comfortable with that, it's time to get comfortable with that because typing up a bunch of things, is a waste of time. Nobody likes reading paragraphs anymore, unless you're, it's like a love letter from your boyfriend. But honestly, we need to send those voice messages. Okay. What does that mean? If the total, the retail price says, I'm just random numbers. Okay. 20, $224. I'm going to say, okay, Susie. So your total would be $224, but because you're buying from me today, you're going to get everything at the discounted price. So instead your total is going to be $148 and you're going to get the free shipping. Um, and since it's your first time buying these products, and I'm going to give you uh, these free products at, of the month. Um, this month is actually two. You're going to get a mini shampoo and then a mini mask. Okay. I don't say you're going to get the renew shampoo and the replenish mask because they don't know what the renew shampoo is and they don't know what the replenish mask is. So I just say mini hair uh, shampoo and then a mini hair mask. And then you're also actually getting, because you're getting three things, you're also going to get an extra $28 off. And since you're getting the heat protectant for $28 off, that means the heat protectant is free. Okay. You're just spitting out benefits. There is no negativity. There is no you, take away from your vocabulary saying, I think I believe no, like, you know, you know, this is what's going to help you. These products are going to benefit your hair, fix your hair. And these are all the benefits that you're getting. I literally break down the shopping cart from what's in the shopping cart to the retail price, to the discounted price, to the purchase plus discount, to the total at the end, which when it says like $108 or whatever, and then the free product, the OFYs, everything, I break it down, okay? Because all they're hearing is benefits, benefits, what's in it for me, what am I getting? I'm getting free products, I'm getting free shipping, I'm getting free this, I'm getting a better discount, okay? Um, whenever I put in things in the cart, of course, you know, because you're the market partner, you know, you have to meet that $84 minimum, but I will always throw in one more product in case they want it. That gives them the illusion because it's an illusion guys, the power of choice. Okay. So if I put in the shampoo, the conditioner and the heat protectant, I'll tell her, okay, I could also add the hair mask that I use. It's the advanced hydrating mask. It's really good for dry hair, but you can leave that for later if you want, or you can get it this time. 
So you know that you have those three products, but you never know if she might want that hair mask. And then boom, that's a bigger sale. That's four products right there. Okay. You can't assume you can't think like, oh, this girl's really cheap. Like she probably won't buy it, but whatever. Like I'm, I'm going to throw it out there. You have nothing to lose. They're already not your VIP. You already don't have that PB. So you literally have nothing to lose. You only have what something to gain, to gain a new VIP, to gain more PB. Okay. Whenever you speak like that to them, the person is just hearing positive things that there's, there's no way for them to be like confused or like conflicted or like, I don't know, like you repeated to them exactly what they said that they needed help with. This is the solution. Like I am, I'm confident in these products because I know what they've done. And I know that this is a solution. There is no question about it, Susie. Come on. Okay. And then at the end, I'll be like, so your actual total will be $108. Um, if you send me your email, then I'll send you the shopping cart. And then I can help you with the steps to put in your credit card info and then your address and boom, like that. I didn't say, um, so Susie, what do you think? Or Susie, your total is going to be $108. What do you, what do you, let me know. Like, she's not going to let you know, like you need to assume, okay. And then I'm going to ship you the, or send you the email for the shipping information and all that. And then I can help you with the steps for it. Like, let's keep this moving, Susie. Come on. You're, you're going to buy it. So let's, let's put in your info and everything that will keep things moving. That'll keep Susie like, Oh, okay. Oh, here's my card now. Oh, here's my shipping information now. Like, like that. You just got to keep things moving. That's all it is. Um, if you are saying like, oh, I think so, or what do you think? Or let me know if you're ready. Like, they're not going to let you know they're ready. Like they're ready. They're ready. You just got to, you just got to give them that little extra push. Okay. Um, point number four is follow-ups. This is the one where you need to be a little brave. Okay. Think of the example of Fashion Nova. Fashion Nova has influencers, celebrities, talking about their products, okay? And they send emails every 10 minutes, okay? But when there's a sale, Fashion Nova will send emails every five minutes and Fashion Nova will send you text messages, okay? Fashion Nova has 20 million followers or whatever. I, I don't know how many they have, but you get the point. 20 million people buying their products, their clothes, okay? They don't assume, they don't just post that there's a sale and then wait for people to fly to their website and start buying, okay? They don't have, pe they don't expect people to go check their website every single day to see if there's a sale today, okay? They do the work. They will send you the email. They will send you the text message. They will have celebrities post about it. They will have celebrities talk about it or whatever, influencers, whatever, okay? So if Fashion Nova can follow up, then you can follow up, okay? Especially because not everybody in the world knows Monate, okay? You need to follow up. If somebody tells you no, move on to the next person. How do you increase your PV and get new VIPs? Because you're gonna move on to people. You're not gonna be stuck on that one VIP, that one potential VIP. You just gotta keep moving, okay? And then if there's a sale, you will follow up with Karen that said no, with Susie that said later, you will follow up. If she wanted the intense repair treatment and there's a sale on the intense repair line, I'm gonna go up to Susie and be like, hey, look, listen, actually there's a cheaper price now because there's a sale on the product that you actually needed for your bald spot or your postpartum hair loss. Tell them their problems to their face. You told me you wanted something for postpartum hair loss and then you said no to buying it. Well, guess what? There's a sale for that. Here it is for your issue. When you tell that to them, they're going to be like, you know what? Okay. Yeah, whatever. There's no, they, they just, they can't say no because they're now it's cheaper and it's the solution to what they needed. This will be like that confirmation or the sign that they were waiting for that they should buy. Okay. Um, at the end of the week or the month, sorry, when it's like the 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, the end, that's when I'm following up to people who haven't purchased from me in the current month or the past two months. And I know that Karen's shampoo ran out by now, but she hasn't purchased or reached out to me again. I'm going to follow up to her and I'm going to tell her, Hey, it's been a really long time. I just wanted to check in with you if how many more uh, products that you needed or what you needed to set up for your order in September. Um, in the beginning of the month, they give free products to every order, which is the new OFY product. But of course I'm not going to be like, there's a new OFY product and blah, 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 whatever. 
no, I'm just going to be like, look, so that way you can set up your order for the first week of September and you can get the free product that they give at the beginning of the month to everyone who places an order. And boom, that's lining up my flagships for the beginning of the month so that I can be able to get active and start getting my PV going, especially now because we have Vegas on the line. So that's going to keep things going. Because if you wait until the 20th of the month for you to take your PV seriously, especially for Vegas, you're going to have 10 days to get that 1200 PV. And that's where it looks difficult. That's where it looks difficult. But 1200 PV is like 10 people buying from you a month. So that means you have 30 days to get 10 sales. And probably one of those is your own because there was a flash sale too good for you to pass up and then you restock and then it's like, okay, well now I need even less people. So do you see how it's really not that hard? It's just, you need to put in the effort. You need to say, okay, I'm gonna plan this out. I'm gonna get this done in the beginning. Just get active, get those things going, okay? Um, flex ships lining up at the beginning of the month happens when you prepare the week before. That's how, that's how it happens. Okay. That's the fastest way because you know how for us, the cutoff is like 20, the 25th. I'm not going to have someone place a flex ship and be like, okay, I want it the 28th. Like, no, I'm not going to tell her. I've never told somebody, I don't know if you guys want to, but I've never told somebody, oh, sorry. Like, well, technically flex ships aren't until the 25th of the month. Um, so if you're after the 25th, I'm not going to, you're not allowed to, but you can wait until the first like, no, there's too much. I'm just gonna say, okay, yes, I can put it for the first of September and we'll get it to you. I don't explain anything about the 25th, the rule, the cutoff, and then the new OFY. And the, no, I just say the first of the month, I'll place it for you and you'll have it with the new product of the, that they give for free every month. You've got to be confident. You've got to be confident. And if you're not confident, it's because you're not doing it enough. It's because you're not talking to VIPs enough. It's because you're not signing up VIPs enough. Okay. Um, do I explain the flex ship? This is how I explain the flex ship. Okay. I simply say the flex ship. Okay. If I'm signing up a VIP, they're going to see that, right. That they're, that they're, there's a flex ship that they have to choose. And I would be like, okay, I'm going to put the oil. Um, it's going to be a recommended product for you. And in, in a few months, you'll get an email saying, if you want to get it. And if you don't want it, then we can just change that date. And that's it. That, that's all I say. I don't say, so as you sign up as a VIP, you're going to have to make a minimum of two purchases of $84 um, later on in your lifetime. And you're going to have to get some sort of product or whatever, but you can push it out. I promise you already are saying something too many words, too many explanations. You're telling them that you're going to have to do this. Nobody likes to be told what to do. So if you're going to be getting all this and no wonder they're saying no, because you're already listing out rules for them to, to purchase from you. You know what I mean? So then I'm just going to say like, okay, well, this is, um, I'm going to put the oil in a future shopping cart. It's just going to hold its place there. Um, it's going to be a recommended product. You'll get an email about it. If you don't want it, you can get something else instead, or we can just push it out. That goes back to the whole illusion of power of to choose because they can choose to push it out or they can choose to choose, put something else in the flex ship. Okay. Um, and then I always put the flex ship, like I set the date two months later, because that gives them two months for them to try the product, see how it feels on their hair, because obviously you won't see a difference overnight, but in two months, you should be feeling something. So that's why I always put the flex ship two, uh, two months out. Okay. Um, all of these points, these four points were for people who have at least one VIP. Okay. If you have one VIP, you can do it again, but um, if you have zero VIPs or you hit a plateau where you haven't been getting VIPs anymore, then you need to circle back to your hot market, which is family, friends, or whatever. Okay. When I first started, I thought my mom would be my first VIP and she was not my VIP. So if you want to cry about nobody supporting me, I, if your own mother didn't support you, I know how that feels. Okay. What I did was I went to my boyfriend's family and I didn't give him a choice. I was like, look, I started this beauty business and I need to start practicing, like doing the shopping carts and like using the products, uh, giving the products to clients and stuff. So you don't have a choice. You're going to borrow, you're going to buy it today. Okay. Because I had that confianza, like that, that, how do you say it? Like that confidence, um, because they're like my boyfriend's family. I was like, you don't have a choice. Like you're buying. And then they were my first VIP setting up shopping carts and setting up flex ships and setting up accounts and remembering like what their password is and all that stuff, like all of that and cheat sheets and how to, what to recommend and all that stuff. Like I had to learn the hard way that the intense repair shampoo is too harsh with the intense repair conditioner. Okay. 
I don't know if that's happened to anybody, but I had to learn that hard way. I would never have known until I gave it to one of his aunts and she told me it was too harsh. It was too heavy. It was too minty, whatever. So for me to be like, oh, okay, well now I'm going to do uh, this shampoo instead and then do the intense repair conditioner. Does that make sense? So that's how you practice. That's how you learn. Okay. I, that's when I got the confidence to start going on my Instagram and talking about it because now I got comfortable with, um, like setting up shopping carts and recommending products because I already practiced on family. So if something happened, uh, like, oh, I gave them the wrong shampoo or whatever, I can fix that. And it's not like scary or anything because it's family. Okay. Now, I'm going to give you a statistical scientific fact. Okay. 90%, 90% of the people that I assumed would say no, they said yes. Okay. Nine times out of 10 that me, I said, they're not going to buy. She's too cheap. She's not going to want it. She doesn't, she already uses something else, whatever. Okay. Nine times out of 10, I was wrong. They bought from me. They said, yes, it was me getting in my own way of getting those VIPs because I assumed you cannot assume because two things will happen. One of two things will happen. Okay. That person will either say no, and now they're going to start watching your Instagram stories or that person will say yes. And you got a VIP. This goes back to the mindset about, I have nothing to lose. I only have something to gain. I either get a new faithful watcher of my Instagram stories now or I get a new VIP, okay? And then you can follow up with that person who said no, because you're gonna be like, hey, look, guess what? There's actually a sale on whatever you were gonna buy, but you didn't. So guess what? I'm back again. You have nothing to lose. Okay, obviously I'm not gonna reach out if it's more like, I say like two, three times, like not every flash sale maybe, but if someone says no after the third time, I'm not gonna keep going back to them. Like I'm, like I'm not. That's just something for me for, um, what is it like? Like, I know my worth, like, I'm not going to be, I'm not desperate that I'm not that desperate to be begging Karen for her. I don't know if someone's named Karen here. I'm sorry, but you know what I mean? Like to be like, I'm not going to be begging this person to be like, be my VIP. If they don't want it, they don't want to move on. That's how you get new VIPs moving on, moving things along. Okay. Um, here's the transparency part. Okay. I'm going to be completely honest. I am on Joe's like top 10 PV list or whatever, like that she posts on her story. I'm on it like constantly. And that just tells me, me, that tells me that I'm, I'm doing it. I'm working. I'm doing something. Okay. That, that I'm there for a reason. Okay. If there are other directors on that list and I'm not a director, but I'm there, that tells me I'm doing something. Okay. So that gives me that like reassurance, like, Hey, you're doing something and it's working. Okay. You can set your own goal, your own like measurement type of thing that tells you you're doing something. Okay. If you have another job, if you have kids, if you're a mom, if you're a nurse, you got your, whatever it is that you're doing. Okay. This is not about, Oh, me having more time because I just graduated and I'm doing this full time. Like, this is not about me. Okay. Because yesterday, Sunday, I was on a boat with my family and I was out on the lake and I didn't post about the flash sale. Okay. This is me being transparent with you guys. I didn't post about the flash sale. So you might work a nine to five, but I was on the boat from nine to five. We both were doing something nine to five, but we didn't both post about the flash sale. Do you get the thing? What I'm saying is you've got to be able to say, I'm going to make the time. That's what it is. Okay. It's not about who's more free. It's not about who has more time. It's not about who has a job and who doesn't have a job or who has kids and who doesn't have kids. It's about you making the effort to say today, I'm going to follow up with people. If I don't post on my stories, it's because I'm following up with people. If I do post on my stories, I'm also following up with people, but I'm doing something. Okay. Um, for every, what is that phrase that Joe says? For every day that you don't do something, you put yourself two weeks behind. So if you're not even trying today, you're putting yourself behind. Two weeks of work went to trash because you are not trying every single day. And people see that. People know that. People can see if you're even trying in this business or if it's just a side hustle for you or if it's just like a side gig, like a comfort nest blanket, whatever. Okay, people can tell. So if 
anybody has any questions, you can ask, put it in the chat, but that's, that's literally my steps. Um, if you need me to repeat something, I can, but that's literally my steps, um, like my secret sauce or whatever, how to get VAPs. But thank you for your time. Thanks for having me here. <laughs> I, I just had one question. I wrote it in the chat. Literally, oh, thank you so much because you dropped so much value. I'm over here. I'm typing notes. I'll send them out to everybody. But um, my question was, is do you attract more VIPs on socials? Like, do you only work your business on socials or do you do it in person? You kind of touched upon it a little bit with like your boyfriend's family. That's in person. Um, do you ask your VIPs for referrals or like, do you get VIPs because they're constantly referring people because they're like, oh my God, Mila is amazing. Uh, amazing. I'm sorry, I want to say your name right. Mila is amazing. And, you know, I love the way she treats me. She put me onto these bomb new products. Like, how does that process work for your business? Okay, all those steps that you just listed, yes, do them. The, that, the, there's no like, oh, do this, but don't do that. You don't know, you don't know. For me, referrals might work. And for you, referrals don't work. Nobody talks about you, but they'll talk about me, great service or whatever. But then they'll talk about um, Ava who did an event and she gave free samples and whatever. Like I've never, I've never done an event like that where I'm like washing people's hair, but I've seen those, but I've never done that. So what I'm saying is you don't know until you try, okay? Now, I do attract most on social media. Um, when I first started, again, it was my boyfriend's family, but then that gave me the confidence to launch on social media. And then that's what gave me like that impulse. Like that's what exploded my business is when I went to social media. Because on social media, I had old friends from high school. I had family that I don't even talk to. I have um, friends that were that you just have, like it, you meet like passing and you follow each other and then you don't really talk. but. What I'm saying is when you go on social media and you start showing who you are and what you're doing and what you ate and who's your boyfriend and what, where did you go on vacation? And then you show these products, you're just adding one more thing to your life for them to watch. So yes, do it on social media. Yes. Ask for referrals. People that uh, bought from you at least two times, that's someone who I would consider like a faithful customer. And I would tell them, Hey, Nancy, if you have anybody that would also like the products the way you love them, let me know. And they'll give you at least one referral or they'll give you like, okay, yeah, like I'll let you know, or I'll reach out to someone or whatever. Or they'll tell you, oh, actually my sister-in-law was asking about how my hair looks so good. Like here, I'll give you information. If you had never asked, they, you never would have gotten Nancy's number or who, whatever is that sister-in-law's number. Okay. So yes, do the referrals, but I do do my business from social media. Um, in person, I people, when they tell me, oh my gosh, your hair looks so good today. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Or like in church, oh my gosh, in church, when people are like, oh my gosh, your hair looks so pretty. And I'm like, oh my God, have you heard of my mate? Like as a joke. And then they'll be like, oh yeah, I know. You post about it all the time. Okay, ma'am, let's purchase. You know what I mean? It, it, make it a joke, make it funny, make it like, but also be a little bold, okay? And then they'll be like, okay, yeah, you know what? yeah actually I really needed something because I have this coming up and I really need like hairspray or I really need like whatever okay just whatever it is don't be scared don't be ashamed don't be embarrassed like you've got nothing to lose you only have something to gain so yes I would say social media um, is the best way because you can reach more people I don't see my old friends from high school but they purchased from me and I thought they never would but it was me posting about one product three weeks ago that got them to ask me a question today. Okay, there's people that will be like, I saw you post about the scalp scrub and that was like a month ago and then they're buying today. So you never know what post might like touch somebody and then keep it on the top of their mind for when they're ready, they'll reach out to you. Okay, but you also can't just wait and sit. Um, like you can't just post a flyer to social media and then expect people to like, fly to you and want to purchase you know what i mean it's not enough you've got to do the follow-ups and then you've also got to do the social media part you know what i mean um so yeah so that's what i would say is just try every way there's no like one way to do it every way you never know what way works for you okay any more questions or anybody need anything for me to repeat no 
good? I don't think so. I think we're good. I'm gonna send out notes. I'm gonna send out a, a copy of the the recording. Okay. That was so valuable. Literally, thank you so much. You guys don't understand how happy I am to have her here. She gave us so many great tangibles. Like literally, we have to become somebody for our audiences um, that they know, like, and trust in order for them to buy from us. And then we apply all of this. Like literally, literally you guys, I've been in this business for a year and a half and she dropped so much freaking value. And yes, some of the stuff I already know, I already knew but some of this stuff, like she gave us actual tangibles and statistics and like a whole new perspective. So I'm, I'm obsessed right now. I can't wait to apply this. Like, I can't wait to see everybody freaking qualifying for Vegas and we get to celebrate. Like, I'm so excited for this. Mm -hmm. Ali, do you want to say anything real quick? Thank you. And I'm going to start applying everything like from head to toes. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you for having us. Awesome. Thank you for having me. Thanks for asking me. Thanks for everyone for your time for being here. <laughs> okay, awesome. All right. Have a great Good night, night. everyone. Um, stay tuned for the links on the chat. All right.